Hello everybody and welcome to my first impressions of Assault Android Cactus. This is a game by Witchbeam, and it's kind of a, uh, it, it, it is a top-down bullet hell shooter, uh, to be most exact. Which really, I think, is a genre that is uh, best explained by seeing it, you know? So let's go ahead and jump right on in. This game uses, uh, it does have controller support, so you can use mouse or keyboard or an Xbox controller or anything of the like. I am using the Xbox controller right now, they both work wonderfully, but for this kind of game, even though I could be more precise with the keyboard and mouse, I think these are the kind of games that are most fun played with, um, a controller in hand, you know? Like, uh, the classic arcades and stuff like that, even though that would be a joystick, but you know what I'm saying. So we have a good selection of characters here, and they're all very unique, like, um, I'll get into this later, but probably my favorite thing about this game so far is the great amount of diversity that we could find in it, and, um, being that it is, it is an early access game right now as well, that's something I should mention right off the bat. So let's go ahead and take Cactus, since she's the, the main character for starters, and we'll, uh, jump into Descent so you guys can see what all goes on here. Also, I gotta say, um, so, so if, if, um, first I should talk about controls, if you are playing this on the keyboard and mouse, you're, as you would expect, you, you aim by moving your mouse cursor around the screen, uh, left trigger to shoot, and spacebar to swap what weapon you have. If you're doing it on the controller here, you use both joysticks to, to move and look around, right trigger to shoot, and then the uh, left trigger to switch to your ultimate weapon, which for uh, uh, Cactus here is her little flamethrower, which is very effective in close range, but obviously not all very, all that good for, for covering distances. Now one thing, this little object that's right on the floor right by us here is an upgrade, and it'll actually, like in many bullet hell sh shooters, uh, mainly the Raiden games, as you can see, it's actually changing colors. Um, every time it changes, it swaps what it actually does. So there are three upgrades or, or bonus items that you can find every now and then. That one was shut down, which slows everyone. Well, uh, not slows everyone, like stops everyone in their tracks, like we just saw right there again. Um, there is also a... I'll get to these batteries in a sec. There is also a attack bonus one. Oh, that's shut down again, I won't wait. Here, let's get this one. This is Accelerate. Basically, it makes you move a lot faster, and, um, which makes it very easy for you to dodge things. Other items around the area also move towards you a lot quicker than they normally would. Like, they home in at a wider distance, and much more quickly. Let's take out that big guy really quick. He wasn't all that bad, but our power is maxed out, and, and there's the first level done! <laughs> and, uh, it, regarding the upgrades, the final one, the red one, that is like an, uh, attack speed up kind of thing, because you'll get these little two attack drones that'll fly down next to you and start helping you fight. So let's jump into this, uh, next level turbine. Oh, actually, change of mind. Let's, uh, pick a different android right now. Might as well go down the least, the list. The least? I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll do Holly next. Holly is actually my least favorite of all the characters. She's pretty cool in her own right. Uh, she's got a homing kind of machine gun. Very similar to Cactus's, just at homes in on enemies, rather than uh, going directly where you shoot. And she's also got this uh, kind of cannonball gun. Super good, but I, I'm not the biggest fan of it in the world. Um, let's see, can it... Yeah, it will take down the big guys in one hit, so maybe I don't give it enough credit. But let's see, um... Oh, the batteries! Okay, that's something I definitely should talk about. Uh, we haven't actually gotten taken down or died in this game, but, um... Basically, uh, regarding your health... Oh, here's... here are the drones for fire power up. And if you... if you get two of those, it'll just extend the time. But basically, in... in a sold Android Cactus, if you, um, the, the battery is your main life. If you take a number of hits, you won't actually die. You'll just get knocked unconscious for a period. Maybe All we right. should let that happen. We'll let these guys beat us up. See, once your life is taken down, you get knocked to the floor and you have to, like, rapidly press the fire button. That just brings you back into things. Uh, so there isn't any actual death in regards to taking too many hits from enemies. But, um, how, how you lose these rounds is if you actually lose out of time. 
or in this case, battery power. So you want to be able to kill all the enemies on the screen to make them drop the batteries, like they did right there, and then, oh shoot, we actually got hit, uh, taken out again, I should have been more careful there. Then you just pick up the battery to um, charge up the amount of time you have left on the level. It's a pretty cool, uh, simple, easy to learn mechanic. Which honestly, here, here's one thing that I want to talk about this game. I really enjoyed my time in Assault Android Cactus. Um, and, and I've played my, my fair share of bullet hell shooters, like, uh, to a great extent, a lot of my childhood was, uh, developed around bullet hell shooters. They're one of my favorite genres that I've ever played, uh, in my entire life, in all honesty, but, um, but one, re one reason why I like Assault Android Cactus so much even in its early access stages right now is that it brings a lot to the table that we've never really seen before or experienced like and especially with a uh... ah shoot got to switch characters again especially with a genre uh, that that has so many games released in it let's let's actually go with the uh, coral for this one right here with a genre that has so many games in it it's as the bullet, uh, bullet hell shooter, it's really nice to see that um, new games can come out that still bring a lot of new things to the table. And and that, as I've said, Assault Android Cactus, even now, really does succeed in doing that. So this guy, Coral, right here, he's the shotgun class. I didn't like him too much at first because uh, obviously shotgun is, is his main weapon. His second weapon is this little orb that he puts down. Uh, if you guys ever paid, played Halo, it's kind of like the bubble orbs that will um, block shots from enemies. But uh, in, in addition to blocking them, and unlike Halo, it will actually deal damage to enemies that stand inside of it. So at first I didn't like this guy because I was like, hey, he's got no long range, he sucks, he sucks, he, he has to if he doesn't have long range. But uh, I've really come to appreciate this little bubble thing because that can really help you if you're in a pinch. Like basically, when you put down the bubble, you can just stand in it and no one will be able to hurt you. Like nothing at all will be able to even touch you while you're in this thing. Um, unfortunately it doesn't last very long though, but obviously that's uh, oh shoot, we got taken down. Obviously, that's something that, uh, would go to towards, uh, balancing in the game, because I think this guy would be really unfair. That bubble would last forever. Um... And like I said before, regarding the classes, I do think certain characters are, like, better than others in certain levels. Um, but really, all the characters are balanced very well. The only reason why I don't like, uh, Holly, I believe her name was, uh, too much is because I... I just don't like her item setup. It's not that she's not good or anything like that, she's very effective. Oh, we need to put this thing down. See, like right there, we were in a, a, a critical pinch. But just by putting our bubble down, it, it really saved us there at the end. And we get to end our level with those badass wings floating around us because we got the, the accelerate bonus. But, uh... One thing that I haven't mentioned in regards to the diversity in this game, and we saw it to a, a good degree in that level right there. Oh no, I wanna... Um, we'll go with Starch. Starch and Lemon are definitely my two favorite characters in this game. But, uh, one of my favorite things about it so far is the incredible diversity in levels. Like, uh, which one is the other one? I, I think I wanna show Influx next? Like, like in this one we saw it was a dark level, uh which is unlike any other because you have to worry about uh, the darkness coming in. Hive sends like an enormous swarm of enemies floating about you. I think I want to show off Influx though, if Influx- Yes! Okay, this is one I really like. Basically we get this uh, dynamic map here that changes um, uh, a, a long time. And, and this is the only level in the game that actually does this kind of thing. Like, the we'll see it more as, as time goes along, but basically the the map does a lot of flipping these tiles to change where the walls are and how you can actually move around, which can really uh, mess with you in a pinch. You'll be like, oh, ha, ha, the, the battery's right there where I can walk to it, but then all of a sudden a wall will pop up in your face and be like, oh, nope, you're not getting that battery, sucker. And it could uh, mess you up, but it's, it's really fun and cool. 
Now, start the sleigh right here. As, as you can uh, almost certainly see, she's got this little laser beam here, which uh, I really like a lot. Th this attack right here solely is why I like start so much, and she's, as I said, among my two favorite playable characters in this game. And, oh god. Mainly because in this laser, she deals out so much damage to single targets. And uh, she can clear out a lot of enemies really quick as well. But then her secondary is this really cool missile barrage that she does. Um, I don't really use it all that often because I feel like Starch is powerful enough just with her laser beam. But, but it's really good and it definitely saves me in some situations as well. Uh, so let's see. Oh god. Um, luckily our battery is pretty full right now. That, that's another thing that ha- uh, there, there are definitely some levels that are- uh, th their kind of gimmick to the level is that they're very battery light. Like, um, you don't get too many battery drops, so you need to kill the enemies really quickly. I believe that was like another kind of gimmick to the hive level, as, as well as it having like millions of enemies coming at you at once. So let's see, um... So, as I mentioned, Assault Android Cactus is in its uh, early development right now, so there's a lot of changes to be coming in the future, which, um... Oh god, I need to... There's a battery. Get at me, battery! Good job. Um... So there, there, there's uh, a lot to come in the future of this game, which I think is really incredible for the amount of replayability that this game has and the amount of diversity in that replayability that it has as well. But, um... But it's going for, for $15 as well, I believe. I really feel horrible that I'm not 100% confident about that, but I believe it is going for 15 bucks, which I think is a, a very, very strong price. Uh, very good pricing for this game, at least for the time value that you'll get out, out of it. Time and fun value, quite frankly. So let's see. Now let's show off the boss. This uh, this first guy, Embryo. He's he's really cool. I like him a lot. So we're gonna show him off. Uh, I've played both of the bosses. They're uh, they're very awesomely designed in the way that they, of course, have their little gimmicks to them and stuff like that. Uh, we're actually gonna ignore all this. We we, we don't need to necessarily hear the story. This game does have a, a storyline to it, but it's definitely not the focus of this game. The focus of this game is 100% the, the gameplay and stuff like that. Wow. You know what? I'm disappointed in myself. We're restarting this. <laughs> I don't like ta a game taken out that early. So Lemon is one of my favorites because she's got this really good um, spread shot kind of move. But what I really like her for is this uh, rocket launcher move, if I could actually hit this guy with it. Basically, it takes out small, smaller big enemies in like one hit, but just like in a, a, a four barrage, if, if you could get like the boss hit with like all four of them, as I am totally failing at right here, then uh, it, it, de it deals like a quite an ex extraordinary amount of damage to the enemy. So uh, basically, this lay here is damn good, and, and she's my favorite for it. Or at least uh, she's my favorite to play as, because I work well with her abilities. I haven't mentioned these little nuggets that are popping on the floor yet. Uh, that's something I definitely should have pointed out earlier. Basically, um, as you play, you... As you fight enemies and kill them or damage the bosses, they will drop those nuggets every now and then. What those do is they upgrade the power of your of your shots. So the more of those we get, the stronger we'll become. Um, and uh, whenever we do get like knocked out by taking too many hits, we'll drop a, a great deal of those nuggets. Ah, as we just saw right there, unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough to avoid that. But uh, so that that's another reason why you uh, obvious. Oh, we're in trouble. That's another reason why you obviously would not want to get hit in this game. Um, and regarding your health, because I don't think I necessarily mentioned that, you have uh, five hits that you could take, as you could see in the top left corner of the screen. Oh god! <laughs> that was a little bit frightening, but we got through that okay. Um, and, and, and your health slowly regenerates as well, or um, as long as you don't get hit. Oh man. Regarding the special abilities, I, I, I know a... Uh, Good friend of the channel, Sea Otter Gamer. He 
he, he stated that his least favorite, uh, one of the powers is... Oh, no! Uh, he said that he really doesn't like the, uh, Accelerate ability, but I, I think that might be one of my favorite ones, in all honesty, because I, I really like to be able to move fast so you can avoid shots more easily. I, I lost! Oh, God. That was rough. Let's go ahead and try someone else, then. Um... I'm a little bit surprised that I did lose there, actually. I I wasn't paying attention to the battery like I should have. We'll give this uh, Embryo Man one more shot. Another small touch, really cool touch to this game is that uh, all the dialogue for the bosses is different. I'm gonna sc scroll through it really fast here again, but uh... See, yeah, now he's like, rats, sneaky filthy rats, blah blah blah, when that wasn't something he was mentioning before. Oh, uh, wanna avoid this for starters. Here, let's uh, shoot some of my missile barrages into him. And actually, this is like, Starch is one of my favorite uh, characters to fight this boss for specifically because um, because of a moment we'll get to later. Like like when, when he does his missile attack where he just shoots like a million missiles at us from the air, I like to pull out my missile launcher and be like, oh yeah, well two can play at that game, buddy. Like, <laughs> don't act like such a badass when I could shoot the same kind of thing right back at you. Like right now, see? He's gonna shoot missiles at us like crazy, but we'll just shoot him right back. Me? I always felt like Lemon was really ideal for this guy, but it actually, uh, Starch actually might be a great degree better against this man. Uh, okay, we avoided that one. This is definitely the hardest, hardest attack of his to avoid in my experience. I hate this little burst shot we do, but if we do kind of just spin around him, uh, we usually can avoid those pretty effectively. Basically, if you stand still in those shots, you are like dead. There, there's no way of getting out of that. Oh man, nice! Good little dodging there, if I do say so myself. It's uh... Oh! Uh. Basically, um, I, I, I really love the bullet hell shooter genre. I, I've played it ever since I was little. One of my favorite games, uh, both now and from my childhood, is the original Metal Slug. And a great deal of why I love them so much is that they're, they're, um, they, they don't hold your hand at all. They're, they're very, oh man, we walked right into that missile barrage. That was stupid. But they, they don't hold your hand at all. Oh, nice, we took him out. Uh, let's just skip through all this. They, they really don't hold your hand at all. And, um... And the thing that I find very oddly compelling about them is that they... they they're all... Uh, the way they work is that they're kind of really predictable in, rega in regards to their gameplay mechanics. It's just that they throw so much of the, the like, predictable shots, shot patterns at you. Like, you know, it, all the enemies follow a specific attack pattern, and they're not going to change that up. Basically, what makes it so hard is that there's so many of them coming at you, so you have to micromanage keeping a, a, a track on, on everything that's coming your way and dealing with it all at the same time. And basically, a solid Android Cactus keeps up with that flow very well and brings a hell of a lot of cool new things to the table. So, I don't know, I, I, I think I've actually gone through everything that I want to discuss in regards to this game, so we'll go back to the main menu here. Assault Android Cactus, really cool. I, I've had a hell of a lot of fun with my time with it, and uh, I could foresee my myself playing a lot of this in the future. Check it out on Steam 100%. I'll put uh, any links to where you could pick up this game in the description. And I'm the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.